Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to enable Sophos Antivirus on an iReport. So the first thing we're going to do here, we're going to log on as administrator or admin. We'll put in our password and we'll click on log on. <clears throat> so much like the, um, I guess, enabling iReport anti-spam video, the first thing that we have to do in order to actually use any of the antivirus features that are available with iReport is to go enable them globally. So basically through security services. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll click on security services. You can see you have the option for McAfee and Sophos. We're going to go ahead. We'll click on Sophos and you'll see here that <clears throat> There's no configuration really changes to make here from uh, an antivirus policy perspective. You just basically enable it here um, and commit your changes. And like with ev anything you do on an iron port, guys, the changes don't af take effect unless you actually click on commit changes. So we'll go ahead, we'll click on commit changes and you get a second screen here so you can optionally put in a comment and usually you want to do that when you're enabling or changing things um, on your iron port device. In our case, we're going to go ahead, click on commit. Okay, so now that Sophos Antivirus is enabled, we have to actually apply it to a specific policy that we have on the iron porter. It's not really going to do anything but update itself. So we'll go into mail policies, incoming mail policies, and we can do the same thing for outgoing as well um, if we had our mail pointing to the iron port for the outbound direction. We'll go ahead and you'll see that antivirus is disabled. We'll click on the disabled link and you'll see you have a bunch of different options here. Because we've only enabled the Sophos antivirus and not the McAfee, we only have Sophos antivirus um, given to us as an option to enable. So we'll go ahead, we'll click on that, and you'll see here, with regard to message scanning, our defaults are scan and repair viruses. So we're going to go ahead and leave that. We also want to enable drop infected uh, attachments if the virus is found and cannot be repaired. That's very important to have on. Um, you'll see the other options you have um, with regard to repaired messages. You can basically deliver as is. You can modify the subject line if you like here. We have the, um, the default, which is warning virus removed so that your users know that whoever sent them an email um, sent them a virus, but it has been cleaned. You'll look at the encrypted messages. So we can basically say, with encrypted messages we want to deliver as is because the iron port can't actually scan encrypted messages but what we can do is warn people and basically say this message is encrypted so they understand that it was probably not scanned by the antivirus engine then we have unscannable messages and there's some points where you may have a message um, that antivirus can't scan but because for example it's 25 megs big um, and you don't want to scan messages that big because they may you know for example tie up your iron port resources and you don't want to do that so we'll go ahead we'll leave that as <clears throat> AV unscannable and deliver as is and we'll have the little subject line there so and then virus infected messages obviously don't quarantine them don't do anything drop them get rid of them and if you want you can set, send a message to the admin uh, telling them that specific email was dropped uh, because of a virus so we'll go ahead we'll click on submit and again, we commit those changes and you'll see now the policy's changed and no longer says disabled. It shows us our default there, uh, Sophos antivirus policy. And we'll click on commit changes and then we'll verify it here to ensure that the changes take effect. And we'll press on commit changes again. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how easy it is to enable antivirus and put it into actually the default policy on an iron port device. Thanks very much for coming out. We'll see you on the next one.